pag po bisita kasi sa amin, we make it a point na tinuturuan namin yung mga visitors namin about natural farming. Ang survival rate namin to nasa 85 to 90 percent po. Wow! So, nakakatuwa naman yan. Good news nga. So, dalawang maipapayo natin sa ating mga taga-subaybay. Tubig na mainit, lagyan ko noong uh, ng produkto mo, wala yung uh, wala yung kalamansi, walang lemon. Anong lasa? Kasi nagko-conduct pa sila ng seminar sa mga gustong magpasok dun sa mga hatchery ng hito. Ano ba itong biochar na to? Pwede ba natin pag-usapan? Ano po ang biochar? Magandang araw ako po si Amy Buiko at ito ang Agri Akadyan. Ngayong araw pag-uusapan natin ang mga coconut condiments at salve kombucha fermented tea. Ano ang mga ito? Ito po ang inyong aabangan sa Agri Akadyan. Babalik ko ang Agri Akadyan. Ngayong araw makakasama ko po ay may farm sa Tagaytay. Ito nga ang farm nila ay Meraki Forest Farm. Kasama po natin si Sir Manolo Asoy, ang kanilang farm consultant at ang owner po ng Meraki Forest Farm, si Ma'am Barbara Kitana. Hello po! Ma'am, this time pag-usapan natin itong kombucha. Ano ba itong kombucha? Medyo hindi ako familiar dito. What is kombucha? So... Historically, uh, for those his, uh, history enthusiasts, right, in 2020, 220 BC, right, in um, Sin, Sin Dynasty yata, Sin, E-S-I-N Dynasty in Manchuria, right, this is a fermented tea drink, right, given to royalty for their ailments, okay? So we know how the, you know, the Chinese are are still very strong in their beliefs about um, natural medicines, right? Yes. So Oriental, yeah. So this this is really taken from leaves. So what we do is we 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 don't do the commercial tea, but we either you get the green tea or a black tea. So green tea in this case would be like jasmine, uh, diba? all the, this tea. So we use uh, loose leaf tea. Uh, in our case, I like using uh, Taiwanese-based tea, loose leaf. So we uh, we boil the tea and then we add uh, an amount of sugar because bacteria feeds on sugar. Mm -hmm. Diba? That's where they get their energy to recreate themselves. So, of course, there's only a certain amount where you... It's enough for us to be able to create uh, the right environment that makes this still uh, a healthy drink. So, you do the fermentation. We call that the F1, first fermentation, for 14 days, right? Um, so, it's a tea, boiled tea, then a bit of sugar, and then, of course, uh, a certain component to that would be your, your called the SCOBY. It's a symbiotic uh, yeast and bacteria culture, SCOBY. So, meron siyang parang mother, uh, mukha siyang, it's a very silky, white, um, it's a like white round shape. It takes the shape of your container, no? That thickens or over time as you ferment. But you know you cannot get fermented drinks without a mother culture. That's the same for beers, vinegar, any fermented uh, no no procedure. So you put that for 14 days, and then after that, right? Uh, in our case, um, we flavor it with fruits oh. and herbs, right? So that now becomes 
flavor and the metabolism of the bacteria generate a bit of carbon so it sometimes you know we we put it so from an open from a jar uh tayo kasi we need oxygen right to be able to breathe okay this bacteria don't necessarily need oxygen they can create they can replicate in an environment that has no oxygen um and then after that we pour it into a, a swing top bottle that is airtight and then they now generate some bit of gases or carb- parang they carbonate naturally so some kombuchas that are commercially available especially if they need to export it they stop the fermentation then they carbonate it they introduce the carbonation externally in our case this is natural carbonation and then after 3 to 5 days um para naman masarap yung tea right masarap yung drink then we flavor it so strawberry mulberry uh yakon and then that's good for drinking already so uh it stays about nine months that that's good otherwise we it turns into parang vinegar na right mm-hmm. uh-huh. yeah so when it, each step of the process we measure our ph level because our gut environment hence the nine months also expiration um can t- is is good within the 3.5 to 4.5 ph level so that's what we try to maintain in our process and mm. yun does that explain to you what kombucha is kompleto eh kompleto yung pagkaka-explain mo ma'am eh <laughs> wait lang um yung idea ng paggawa ng kombucha saan niyo po ito nakuha at bakit yung kombucha uh, on my end why kombucha um because there are just so many different types of fermented drinks there's uh water kefir uh if you're familiar with kefir right um and then there's the kombucha right so for me why kombucha because i was blessed enough that a friend gifted me with a scooby because mm. in the old times right um you you can do scoby out of somebody giving you a scoby that you trust because mm. remember that's bacteria right oh, so, so a friend uh, gave me the scoby and taught me how to do it and then i read upon it right she's a plant certified plant based chef and then i i read upon it and then so we go oh wow that really has tons of health benefits um that need to still be backed up by research so i'm mm-hmm. telling you uh it's not for everybody when i say that uh, i'm maybe sh- shooting my foot my <laughs> shooting myself in the foot right um now not having science the science uh because you know that there's a different politics to to the vetting process right however i will not deny that uh and so many others that are doctors and scientists and practitioners um that's why there's a whole business around it in the first place all around the world um that there's a viable reason for its existence um when it comes to the health benefits it delivers right so that's but as as plain as day the reason why i got into it is because somebody gifted me a scoby ah <laughs> uh, so hindi yeah. pala basta-basta na kukuha ang scoby pwede mo siyang bilhin sa shopping ah uh, pero yung trusted <laughs> oh oh eh kasi parang diba it's a bacteria that you will culture oh. and uh it's like Paano sabi sa atin ng nanay at tatay natin, huwag tayong kukuha ng candy sa hindi natin kilala. <laughs> so, I guess that's the same attitude I have uh, when it comes to getting uh, your mother culture, right? 
you, you want to make sure that that comes from somebody that I know. That's why I guess when it comes to the branding game, right? Um, what's the play of with Meraki when it comes to that? Um, if you want to be commer, if you want to be commercially successful, maybe you're gonna try to sugar that drink a bit more. You're gonna try to show their colors, um, so in pretty bottles that are clear, right? Um, you're gonna try to introduce a lot of the fancy ingredients um, that maybe are imported. Again, for us in with Meraki, we go back to the basics of what the brand really is trying to do is Diba? It's really to derive the most health benefits out of it. We're trying to put in, uh, if the normal recipe would would require 15% sugar, we try to cut that and still grow the SCOBY uh, healthily, right? We put it in amber bottles. You won't see the colors, right? But we put it there. Um, we don't pasteurize. So even I think uh, if you were to try to make kombucha out of this, it's as raw as perhaps you can even grow kombucha out of this, right? Mm. It's, it's, it's that alive, right? Um, maybe not here, you don't see it there here, but in in uh, some bottles, you'll see, you'll see a white film. Uh, and that's good. That means it's very raw. Yes. Yeah, so that's again back to like what we what we really stand for uh, is the integrity of the benefits that we want to deliver uh, out of the process, out of the packaging, and even our labels, because uh, like I said, we we are our work hinges on um, holding other companies, the listed companies, accountable in their reports. So we write it, we design the report. So much to our practice, even the paper that we use uh -uh. is uh, FSC certified papers. So that means Forest Stewardship Council paper. So the only, these paper companies uh, get from forests that have a reforestation uh -huh. uh, program and um, has, an, has targets on their carbon, um, on their carbon um, strategies, right? So, again, it, it's a whole uh, concept that ties up to what we truly believe in. Opo. Ma'am, mm. anong nasa na itong kombucha tapos may alcohol content ba ito? Kasi alam ko, pagka may yeast and sugar, sugar will become alcohol. Tama ba? Tama. Nasa sour side siya. Medyo maasim siya. Oo. Medyo maasim siya. Yeah. Malapit. Hindi naman siya, ma, hindi ka naman mapapapikit. Unlike the vinegar. <laughs> hindi ka na makikiligin. <laughs> may, may kilig ba, ma? May kilig. <laughs> Konting kilig lang. Oh. Konting kilig lang. Halimbawa, yeah. first time akong iinom ng kombucha. Sabi mo, 250 ml. Ang ideal na ano. So, sa first time na intake, anong dapat? Uh, so, siguro one glass lang. So, at 250 ml, pag palang glass mo, actually, naubos mo na to. Pero kung ang glass mo lang naman, uh, di, mga glass. one ml lang, short glass lang. Baka do, do this in two days, this one. So, each one of this is 250. So, hmm. para ka nang may, ano, no, ah, uh, Para kang may multivitamins. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, na. Oh, uh, probably even better than um no, certainly better, but I'm not a doctor, so I don't wanna mm. right? They have to check, they have to read up. We're all responsible for what we are offered, even doctors, right? We have to research. Um, right? So this one can do Two, two days. So, 125 ml each, yeah, a day, right? Two. Pero gano'ng kadalas dapat uminom ng kombucha? Kung gagawin mo siyang parang supplement, parang daily? Every day, yeah. Oh, every day. Oh. Every day. So, we have a, uh, I Amy, mean, we have a subscriber model then um, that 
uh, mas nagiging mura siya pag nakasubscribe ka and, and good for five five days or two weeks kana Maliban sa physical natin tayo sa yung kaluluwa mayroong microbes sa uh, ano din uh, may mga microbes sa isang katawan di ba Para ang ratio if I, I hope I'm correct sa isang body cells natin 10 million microbes ang nakumbay Wow Manage to 10 million Ibig sabihin sabi niya itong third person na to ito yung mga microbes uh, affects our behavior eh yung pagkain kung ano yung maraming microbes sa katawan mo Kung anong prefer ng microbes na yun, yun yung kakainin mo. Hmm. Kasi yung with the drinking, kung anong gusto nilang ng microbes na kakawin, hindi yung inumin. It also affects the, ano, yung behavior, yung anger, happiness, anxiety. Because of these microbes na sa katawan. Kasi hmm. kung totoo na 1 is to 10 million ng ratio niya, sobrang lakas ng effect nila. So, yes. with kombucha, you are, ano, diba, you are sure na talagang good microbes yung nasa katawan. But you can populate yourself with the good microbes rather than any microbes that really affects our, our health diba? yeah siguro ako uh, <laughs> ibaba ang mga Pilipino mahilig sa mga junk foods party and healthy food because of the microbes in their body yun yung microbes yun yung gusto ng microbes ng kapag maliban sa kombucha na meron tayo Meraki is also uh, distributing isa pang product, ito yung mga coconut condiments. So, sa ating pagbabalik, pag-usapan natin itong wild country with Meraki. Abangan nyo po, yan ito ang agree ako dyan. Pagbabalik ko ang agree ako dyan. Mamaliban nga sa kombucha, meron pa tayong mga ibang produkto. Uh, ito ay galing sa wild country at sabi nga natin, with Meraki. Yan. So, ano nung mga products ito? Okay. So, meron tayong dimang uh, products under yung coconut condiments uh, line ng, ng Radical, uh, ng Wild Country, uh, manufactured by Radical Kitchen, and they're distributed by with Meraki. Right? So, we have the Coco Pure Nectar. So, itong coconut pure nectar, isa-isahin na lang natin din. So, 100% natural siya, unrefined, right? No additives, no preservatives, rich flavor, gluten-free. Actually, very, ano siya, mabody yung, yung kanyang viscosity, no? And then, non-GMO, and then, of course, it's organic, right? So, it's used, uh, it's safe for diabetic patients. It's a wedding alternative for honey. Honey, yeah. Kasi ang honey, especially kung yung iba plant-based, kasi siyempre animal si honey, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, but, and then, it has, uh, so it's good for syrups or desserts or some people actually use it for coffee also. Mm-hmm. Right? Yun. And then, we naman, we sprinkle it on top of our cocoa-based uh, sherbets at the farm oh. when we serve them. Um, Kasi may pagka ano siya, hindi siya flat sweet, may pagka may body siya ng salt sweet, ganun. Pero lasa mo ba yung coconut, ma'am? Ano yon? Lasa yung coconut? Hindi, hindi. Hindi mo nalalasahan ng coconut. Hmm. Okay, ano pa po yung next natin na ma- okay, product? Meron siya yung coco cider. Vinegar naman. Coco cider. Oh. oh. So, it's from the coconut sap. Right? As with all vinegars naman, it's always a probiotic drink because, again, it goes to a fermentation that uh, keeps the good bacteria alive, right? Mm-hmm. So, if you notice, um, ang, ang nakaugalian ng iba sa atin na, na we learned it, I guess, from our Western counterparts na in the morning, you put apple cider it, together in your drink, di ba? Ako, I used to do that in the past, no? Water, and then I put lemon, um, and then certain occasions, water, uh, apple cider, and uh-huh. Himalayan salt, I used to. So that's the first thing I take. So now, instead of apple cider, I use coco cider, right? Coco cider. 
Coco Cider because in terms of the richness and the wealth of minerals, talo niya si Apple Cider. Right? So, there's a... Apple Cider, uh, ginagamit din pang paganda. Ang Coco Cider ba, eh, pwede din sa, ano, sa balat. So, pwede mo siyang ipahid sa pimpong. Oo. So, anti-acne siya. Tapos, I use it also as vegetable wash. Uh, so, also to clean your surfaces. So, I put it in uh, water and then I put uh, siguro about 5% of the cocoa cider and then I spray it. Pero kasi may smell. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, may smell like vinegar, right? But if you want uh, just a natural way of cleansing your surfaces, surfaces, right? Then I go, I use this. And also to wash my vegetables, Right? And then sometimes for my hair. Diba? Oh! Oo! Oh. So, just... Sabo. Ano yung magpapatubo ng buho? Pa- Ay, hindi. Pangpalinis lang. Pangpalinis ng buho. Pangpalinis lang ng scalp. Oo. Oh. Oo. Hindi siya. Po, kasi hindi naman siya nabubula. <laughs> Kahit lang. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Kahit lang. Kahit lang. Kahit lang. Kahit lang. Kahit lang. Kahit lang. Ano pa mong meron tayo? Na-distract ako sa si Manolo kasi hindi ko lang ang cider sa'yo, Manolo. Uh, tapos, we have naman the healthier alternative to soy sauce. So, amino. Is, amino sauce. So, it um, it's um, it has less salt than your soy and then some people are allergic to soy sauce, right? To, to soy. Right? So, Here's uh, another alternative to, ano, to soy sauce, basically. Yun. And then, of ano course, ano yan, ma'am? Talagang parang toyo. These products are gluten-free, ha? Um, kasi maraming taong gluten intolerant, hindi nila alam. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ang lasa nito, medyo slightly sweeter. Slightly sweeter mm-hmm. lang than the, ano, than the soy sauce. So, what you will do is, Diba normally ang Pinoy nag add pa ng sugar sa pagkain? Dito, parang hindi mo na kailangan mag-add ng sugar. Tama lang. I'm not saying it's very sweet, mm-hmm. but uh, it's a good salty, sweet taste to it. Tapos it has the same body as a soy sauce. Oh. Maybe slightly thicker, slightly thicker. Parang it has the body, sli- uh, lighter body of uh, teriyaki sauce. Diba? Ah. Yeah, Radical Kitchen. Oh, sushi! They export this to Japan already. Imagine oh. Japan is a soy sauce country and yet we export this. No? And we also export this to Russia. Oh. Yeah, yes. Correct. So, then what else do we have here? We have balsamic vinegar. The band, we know this only from Italy, usually. Mm-hmm. But we we have our own. Um, also from coconut sap, just like the amino sauce, right? But it has gone through the fermentation process to make it the flavor. Slightly sweeter. It's slightly, but not not as sweet as amino sauce. And I'm not saying that amino sauce is sweet. Hindi rin eh. Pero just just in amino sauce is sa alat. Ito kasi sweet na matasim. Tama ba ako? Well, kind of, right? Kind of right? Kind of I cannot be settled by not answering that question. The difference <laughs> and balsamic, right? So, ah. syempre, since we're talking about uh, coconut condiments, we cannot do without talking about Virgin this coconut right? Uh-huh. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, so one thing about Wild Country's BCO is wala siyang asim. Uh, of course, it takes on the... If, of course, it takes on the um, taste of coconut, but it's mild, right? Compared to its counterparts. Now, another question that might be asked is, ano yung MCT? Hmm. Are you familiar with that, yung MCT? Hindi, ma'am. Ano yan? Ano yung MCT? 
Oh, uh, kasi there's another brand in the market that focuses on MCT uh, VCO. So it it basically okay. Pag itatabi natin si MCT dito na isang brand na very strong in good brand also. Um, what it pareho lang sila ng ha, ng soluble fat content. However, MCT uh, and its process makes you feel um, makes you feel fuller right away. So it's good for those who want to to uh, the diet. Busog agad. Oo, mabigat, mabigat siya sa chan. Oo, right? But it, when it comes to health benefits, so this is unrefined. It, it's hmm. very raw. It doesn't subject itself to any uh, process. Kaya nga pag sinasabing virgin coconut oil, uh, i- even if you were to ask Radical Kitchen, this is where they wanna, they go, do we need to put extra virgin barbs? If it's a real VC, if it's a real coconut oil and it's cold pressed, it is automatically virgin, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't know the big hype on, ano. Kaya nga siya, whenever we did the marketing, let's just let's just stay true to the basics, right? It is uh, unprocessed, cold processed, because when you do, subject it to heat, it alters the chemicals and it doesn't deliver any more the health benefits, and. I ask him, do we need to do an MCT? No, unnecessary because we deliver the same health benefit. So, um, you just have to know that the difference would be is uh, they get the the consumer would feel a lot um, a lot more full faster, right? So, but in terms of the health benefits, you know, it's just it's just the same, and then it's just all a matter of. How you do your products in terms of taste, in terms of service, in terms of price, and where you are available. Okay. Pero tama mo, kitchen base. I'm sorry. Meron kasi tayo yung virgin coconut oil na for intake na agad. Ito yung mga ano natin ginagong food supplement. This virgin coconut oil naman is for kitchen base. Ito yung mga pangprito or pwede din siyang intake direct. Ah, I put uh, I put VCO in my coffee. Mm, that VCO, ha? Yeah, oh, tapos I use it also in my salads and the way that I cook, I put it also on my hair. Mm-mm. Right? Kasi, uh, like, si the Radical Kitchen, right? Um, barbs, what your body can take <laughs> is what is just as good as what your skin your your hair could take right so um of course there are certain conveniences that goes with the certain packaging that's good for lotion for diba kasi how you use it is where you change in the packaging right because you make it readily you don't want to put this in the purse when you want to put it on your hair no? something like that you probably want to uh, put it on a spray right so I guess that's where the brand extension comes in when it comes to earmarking it for a specific use. But the base of it all is it is a good VCO, right? That you're using for for all your cells. Because these are all cells. No? And, Opo. Mm-hmm. Ayun. Ma'am, paano kayo nag-decide kung anong product yung uh, isasama nyo sa Meraki? Very good question, Amy. So, because Meraki is um, is number one, the quality by which we do things. No, it's doing everything with passion, creativity, love, and soul, um, which is which is exactly uh, which houses our core values in terms of the way we do things. No, um, now when it comes to the choice. Uh, since with Meraki, it's focus in the way that it does things with passion, creativity, love, and soul is in health. Um, we offer ourselves as either a place, no, a product, or certain experiences that all happen in a space. So what happens in the space? Certain experiences. 
uh, in that experiences there are also products right so um, when we choose the products or the types of PR the um, experiences that we house under the purpose of with Meraki which is a self-healing we're not the healers only you can decide to change your habit right once you have been informed once you have experienced it right so then we choose based on the integrity of the purpose behind the product that you can actually see in the lives of those who make them again with impact and a special focus on sustainability which is the practice of the farm under permaculture which is earth care people care fair share and future care uh, a discipline of design that uh, brings in a multidisciplinary set of people that are experts in their own field but that come together under one purpose which is um, for us gaining balance um, and delivering uh, experiences that allow people to see where they are at and where they want to be in their health journeys in life. Mm. Yeah. Nako, parang sinabi ni mo, may mapapabili ka talaga ng product kasi yung tiwala ni mo, nandito sa mga produktong to. <laughs> well, we, uh, pinupuntaan namin talaga when they make them, diba? uh, inaalang talaga namin yung uh, how they treat their suppliers so mm-hmm. a lot of people kami mag-a-avail nitong mga produkto nyo itong kombucha tea tapos itong mga coco condiments natin paano kami mag uh, bibili nito okay so available siya sa website available siya sa aming facebook shop insta shop tsaka sa grab sa grab Yes, kaso di ba Grab works on a 5 kilometer radius I think so. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so far our dispatch is available from Makati pa lang in Tagaytay. So, oh. so, but uh, that is in terms of Grab. But it doesn't mean that for other places we cannot, ano, kasi we've been able to deliver to other places using through FB when they uh-huh. order our FB and our Instagram shop. And our website. Okay. Also our oh. website. Then sa price ng ating mga coco ko- condiments, magkano ito? Okay, dito sa ating... Um, dito sa... Okay, they range na lang. Let's go na lang to the range. Uh, so Around man, how much? From 280 to about 480. Oh. Uh, sa 500 ml. So, kalahating litro. Opo. Matagal-tagal na gamitan na yun. Matagal na rin yun. So, baka it will stay for you. Like with me, uh, umaabot sa akin ng ano, ng one month. One month? <laughs> so, so in-invite natin yung mga kasamahan natin at ang Pilipin. Ito yung mga local products na na ina-export din po at kayo po ang exclusive distributor dito sa bansa. Correct. So, pag bumili sila niya, sinasuportahan din nila yung mga local natin na small, medium enterprise. Right. At saka, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, it's a clean cooperation talaga. It's a symbiotic relationship that we want to see more of between the producers, the farmers, and the makers. Right? That mutually respect each other and are transparent with each other when it comes to their profits, right? So, um, at least with the ones that we, you know, we know each other's markups, we talk about it, and then we try to distribute that evenly, sometimes favoring the farmers more. Yes. Nako, yeah. thank you, ma'am, sa pagsama po sa amin and Sir Manolo. Maraming maraming salamat din po. Ang dami ko natutunan, lalo na dyan sa mga condiments, no? Saka sa kombucha. First time ko talaga na-encounter yan. Well, <laughs> Akala ko talaga fermented juice siya for, okay. for plants. Hindi pala, for human pala yan. <laughs> uh, well, abangan in 2023 yung aming fermented juice. Oh. 
by next year naman uh, probiotic for plants for plants looking forward po kami dyan maraming maraming salamat po ulit hmm. At sa ating mga kababayan, napakasuling pakinggan ng ating episode ngayon, lalo na po sa mga nature and countryside lover. Ngayon nga, itong cool po sa mga coconut condiments at salve kumbucha tea ang ating pinag-usapan galing pa rin po sa Meraki Forest Farm. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga nakasama, si Ma'am Barbara and Sir Manolo. Hanggang sa muli, ito po ang Agriya. Agriya po dyan.